Happy Friday guys. Fridays are always better when you've got a new tool to unbox. So you may or may not know if you've been watching the videos, but we're doing pretty much a whole house renovation. Uh, at least the major rooms. Doing the bathroom, uh, putting down new flooring, redoing the walls, some new electrical, a little bit of plumbing change, put up some wainscoting, paint, light fixtures, the whole nine yards. Uh, made a bathroom vanity you can see over here. Uh, there's a separate video on that. So you can watch the build process and uh, when we get it installed. So, got a lot of flooring to do. I'm going to put down about 800 square foot of flooring. So, it was time to look at another option other than my trusty skill saw from Walmart uh, belt sander. So, between the floors and the, the tabletops for farmhouse tables, uh, cabinets, things like that. This thing has seen a pretty fair amount of use, and it's been pretty decent for a $40 tool. It has not been bad at all, so if you're starting out, you know, and you just need an occasional use belt sander, this isn't too bad of a tool, but it's not built heavy duty to do the, the, the amount of time that it's going to take to do 800 square foot of flooring, plus all the other projects. So. It was time to think about something new. So, did, did my shopping, did my research, as I always do. And I'm pretty heavily invested in Makita. All right. Makita is my main 18-volt system. I just bought into their 12-volt system. And I tell you what, it's been very, very nice. Um, got the 12-volt reciprocating saw. And for getting into tight places, it's small, it's light. Man, you can, it just fantastic tool really is good battery life my makitas have served me well you can see i got a bench full of them back here three drill driver sets two reciprocating saws a circular saw all cordless um a couple other makita tools running around here as well um but i'm not brand loyal if there's a better product in a particular category unless it's like you know a battery power tool where i'm invested into the makita battery system then I'll take a look at it. So I've got, you know, Bosch and DeWalt routers. Uh, went with a different sander than the Makita. Although the Makita, if you're shopping and you read the reviews and the tests for years, Makita and Porter Cable are the two top sanders out there when it comes to belt sanders. In this size, the, the, the three, three by 21s, three by 24s, four by 24s, you know, Makita just consistently comes out to being the best. But there's a price you pay for that. The Makita in the 3x21 was uh, $225, $230. And the 4x24 was north of $250. So it was like $260, I think. $269, $259. Best prices I could find at the time. So, never been a real big fan of the Porter Cable. I, I just don't think that it's very ergonomic. Um, it's heavy which weight is good when you're when you're belt sanding but how it carries that weight and the balance the ergonomics really make a big difference it's one of the things i really like about the the makita 12 volt uh cxt system man i tell you what so lightweight they fit your hand they, they just really they, they're really a well thought out tool in how they put them together so if you're going to use it you know quite frequently you know it's going to be comfortable so in my shopping, I ran across this company, Triton. Now, I'd seen Triton a little bit before. My local wood shop started carrying Triton. I've seen Triton in a couple of folks' videos, but not too many. Wasn't a ton of information out there, but there was a few reviews on this. Um, primarily European. Triton is a, an Australian company. Just has started to move into the U.S. market here in the last uh, two, three, four years. I don't know exactly when, but just really started seeing them in the last two or three years. So they're, they're trying to make some inroads. And this belt sander, from a features and performance standpoint, weight, ergonomics and handling, and cost, it came in right around $160. So it was $70, $80 less than the Makita 9903 3x21, and about $100 less than the 4x24. So I took a chance. I said, you know, $70, $80 right now doing home remodeling. We're buying all kinds of new tools. Got stuff we you know, towel cutter saws and just, you know, batteries and, and just you constantly find as you're doing stuff that 
what you've got for the wood shop when you get into some general construction kind of stuff maybe there's a few extra things you need so I took a chance on this on this Triton I'm gonna do a quick unboxing for you not gonna do a review on it um, all my tool reviews don't happen until I've actually used the tool for a fairly significant amount of time I want to use it get it in my hand see how it performs see what my battery life is see how the tool stands up so you know, I'm not one of these guys that's going to get a new tool and go, oh, this thing is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because I don't know that. I haven't used it yet. But what I can tell you is I can tell you about the fit and finish. I can tell you about the features. And on paper, this thing looks really good. We'll see how it actually works, see how it actually holds up. So let's get started into the unboxing here. A little bit disappointed. I ordered this off Amazon because I needed it fairly quickly. Um, and they just shipped it like this. No protected box, just shipped it right like this. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed with that. Uh, being a Prime member, paying for that, paying for two-day shipping, and it just comes like this, and the box is kind of beat up. And hopefully the tool inside is. It looks like it's pretty well packed, so I, I think we're going to be okay. First thing, owner's manual and a spare drive belt. Dust bag, a couple of clamps and a stop. I'll explain this later. And a couple of sanding belts. That out. And we'll get the tool itself out here. Okay. Alright, one of the things that I was concerned with in, in reading reviews and specs is this is only a 10 foot power cord. Uh, a lot of the other belt sanders come with 12 and 15 foot power cords. So we'll see as I move into the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen how big of an issue that is. Right now the bathroom, the first room I got to do is only 80-90 square feet. So I should be able to hit pretty much everywhere in the bathroom. Uh, it's like a nine and a half by nine and a half room. So I should be able to hit everywhere in the bathroom with the, the power cord that it comes with and not have to do an extension cord, but we'll see if that becomes an issue going down the road. One of the couple of things that I looked at that I liked, I really like this long handle coming out the back. Okay. For me, a lot of them were up here. Okay. Designed more like this skill saw. For this skill, um, these the other units, the Porter Cable and the Makita, were taller, so it was a little bit more angled. But to me, that's very compact. So as I'm on the floor supporting my weight, trying to not you know push down too hard, I've got my my points are pretty close to each other. If I can spread those out, it's a little bit more comfortable, a little less tedious on the back and the neck. So I think from a comfort perspective, this tool is going to be better. It allows me to stretch my arms out, spread my weight out over a little bit more of an area when I'm sanding. So if I'm doing tabletops, you know, back and forth on a tabletop, I can stretch this out a little bit. Now, the other really cool thing is this is adjustable up front. This front handle and... new so it this will adjust straight up what's that 30 degrees 35 degrees and all the way down flat so you've got some adjustment here again for ergonomics there's four different levels so straight at 180 or 90 degrees from where it was then it looks like a two-thirds a one-third and straight back up so I'm going to have to play with that and see which one I like the best and see which one is the most comfortable in use. But I think that that's going to be a really nice feature to have that adjustable handle up front. Again, allows me to change my position so that I'm not always in one position. I can move my arm out uh, when, you're, when you're doing this for a long time. It, it, it can you know, re really help from a usability standpoint and keep you from getting tired. 
Um, the belt system. Okay, it's got, it came with three belts. Looks like it came with an 80 grit on it. And maybe another 80 and 120. Oh, 100 and 180. So three different belts. Have to go pick up some more belts. I have to pick up a connection for the dust port on the side here. But as with as with most of the sanders, it is you know auto tracking. But you do also have a tracking adjustment knob. Find adjustment knob over here if you want it. Flush on the side so you can get up close to walls. And changing the belt, just as easy as pulling the lever. Pretty much standard design on most all of your belt sanders nowadays. Speed control. It's got a wheel back here. So you can set your, your variable speed. Obviously it has a lock on the trigger. So you can lock it. And then you have to hold the trigger while you're, while you're sanding for long periods of time. Dust collection seems to work pretty well. Uh, the bag from the reviews I saw and read, the bag actually works pretty well. So for small jobs, you know, you can click the dust collection on here. But then larger bag, larger jobs, I'm going to go get uh, a, a, a connector so I can plug it into my shop vac. Try and keep the dust down. Because, you know, like our bathroom, it's the only bathroom we've got. So i got to keep it clean, clean up every day. And that way the family can use the bathroom as well. So overall, that's just kind of a quick view of the features. <clears throat> There's a couple other things that are, are really nice that I really liked about this particular uh, this particular unit. In the back, you've got a green LED that tells you when it's plugged in and has power. So you've got little ones around like I do. i got a five-year-old. Don't want him coming up and grabbing the trigger and this thing taking off and smashing through a wall or running him over. So I can tell when it's got power, so I can know I can need to turn it off or unplug it. Um, the other thing that I really liked, because this fills another need in my shop for me, uh, is I've got a rigid belt sander and oscillating spindle sander over here that I really love. It does a great job. But the belt sander is vertical and it oscillates. So for some things not necessarily the the easiest to use uh, if you're trying to, to just level a piece out and get it square that can be a, a little bit a little bit trickier to do on that particular unit but if you're doing things like uh, I used it to when, when I make chairs for tables um, for dining room tables I'll rough cut everything on the bandsaw and then sand down to the line on the oscillating sander and it can be it can be, you know, a cylinder or it can be the belt sander. So that's really a great feature of that particular unit. That's a unit I really like. Um, gets used quite a bit in the shop. But I always wanted a, a stationary belt, a stationary flat belt sander. And I looked at some of the tabletop units and the construction and quality. Just, you know, I didn't want to spend the 100 bucks, 150 bucks on it. Because it didn't seem like it was going to hold up um, to any kind of real use. And, and I couldn't really justify spending 250 or 300 dollars to get one. Now the disc sander piece, I can accomplish that with with my horizontal belt sander. So I haven't really run into a need for a disc sander yet. When I do, then I'll take a look at those things. But for the moment, what you can do, the Triton is flat. You can take it, and with your with these clips. Mount it right to your work surface. And let's see what side are they on. There's a couple of holes here. Yep, you got a hole right here. And a hole right here that you can mount these into. And then mount this to your work surface. And then it's also got... A workpiece stop that you can put in, and they give you the, the wing nut to do this with. It's 
screw that on and now you've got now you've got to stop to, to rest your workpiece up again so really well thought out take this I can mount this up and now I've got a stationary tabletop belt sander. Which is very nice. So it kind of gives me you know two two uses for the tool, which I, I really like. Uh, gives you a little bit more flexibility in what you can do with it, and to me that's more value for the money. So overall, when I looked at all the features, all the capabilities. This particular belt sander had all the same capabilities I could get out of the Makita. As a more powerful motor, this is a bigger motor. Um, I can't see how many amps is this. It's a 1.6 horsepower motor. And amperage wise, I'm going to have to look that up. I want to say it was 1200 watts, is what I read. You know, it weighs 10 and a half pounds, 10.6 pounds, so it is substantial. The Makita, I think, was about 12. So it is a substantial tool. Um, the overmold feels good. The fit and finish, the quality feels good. You know, overall, it looks very positive, but I'm going to reserve judgment until I actually put it to use on some flooring. So. We will see how it does. The other thing that was kind of nice that I liked was up front. You know, this is your sanding contact area. So this is how much sandpaper you're going to have removing material off your workpiece. Now, if you look, larger, smaller. It does allow you to tilt up and kind of get into some corners so hopefully that's going to work well because corners are a pain She works, she fires up, it's alive. So, sorry guys, quick overview of the Triton TA-1200 BS. Uh, bell sander from Triton. Gonna give this thing a try, see how it works. And we're gonna do another video after we put it through its paces. And I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like, how well it worked. Did it live up to the hype? Was it worth 160 bucks? Would I buy it again? So, thanks for tuning in guys. Everybody have a great weekend.